Okay, Darren here. Hopefully I'm in the shot. What I want to demonstrate today very quickly is the cleaning of vinyl seats. Now I have two products that I recommend. If I had to pick two products, they're both put out by Meguiar's. One is their all-purpose cleaner and one is their super degreaser. They're both concentrates, which means they're concentrates. You dilute them with water and which is kind of cool news because then you can custom blend them based on the dirt that you're trying to clean or the material trying to clean. Now vinyl, uh, just like leather, does is not all created equal. And what I mean by this in this moment is because vinyl is more uh, consistent as far as build quality and material quality than leathers are. Leathers come in many kind of con configurations. This is a Chrysler 300. This is all vinyl. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of vinyl because it will wear out more quickly than cloth. There's always trade-offs. The trade-off with vinyl is that it's easy in that spills can be wiped up very easily, that kind of stuff, but eventually it will crack, which I'll show you at the end of this video. Point is, is based on the texture and how dirty the car is, it can be as simple as spraying and wiping, okay? Now, it won't really show up because it didn't pull up that much dirt for two reasons. A is there's a lot of texture here, so there's a lot of dirt that's still embedded within the texture. And B, I use the all-purpose cleaner, which is a much uh, less aggressive cleaner than my super degreaser. Now, that would suggest that super degreaser, generally people make the association and connect the dots between degreasers and engines but I use this on virtually every material, even leather, believe it or not. Uh, you just dilute it down and you use a little common sense. You start off by reading the directions and the manufacturer's advised directions of use. So that's a good place to start. But then as a professional or someone that uses it firsthand is you experiment. And you always test all products in an inconspicuous area. In case you don't know what that word means, that means in an area that's not uh, directly visible, it's kind of hidden away from the mainstream areas. So you would test an area maybe here on the side or maybe on the back of the seat, maybe way down here in the crevice that's not gonna be seen. That's what inconspicuous means. So you always do that as a rule. Second rule is you always follow manufacturer's directions. Once you understand the directions, then you can break their directions and go into the areas of what's called off-label use. Okay, so that's my two rules. Another rule is, is I prefer microfiber cloths, towels, call them what you want. It's a superior material uh, bar none. Now for this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna use a white terry cloth because I wanna show you the difference, the amount of dirt that can be pulled up based on your tools that you use. And as a rule, these are my three, four tools that I use for doing any interiors. Okay, and the process is pretty straightforward. You spray, which I already did. You either wipe or you scrub and wipe. Because this has so much texture to it, I need to scrub. And I'm not even gonna waste time with these other pads because I need something with some bristles that's really going to get into all those little nooks and crannies of this material. So let's go back to the dirty side and mop this up and let's see. Now just to give you the heads up, this, this car is so old, okay, it pulled up more dirt. This car is so old, it's probably about 10 years old now, um, that there's some staining and the uh, vinyl is just wearing to the point of no return. Now, if I was, well, actually I am. I was gonna say if I was gonna detail this, I am going to detail it. So I'm gonna cut, because this is heavily soiled, uh, I've seen far worse, trust me, but I really like to cut to the chase. So I know this is completely safe for these this material. I've tested it hundreds and hundreds of times. So I'm gonna cut to the chase. 
I'm going to scrub so I can break the dirt uh, from all those little nooks and crannies. Uh, you, the texture, you can, you can call it whatever you want. The point is, is if you don't get something that's going to, you know, some form of bristles or whatever that's going to get down in there, it's not going to get it clean. Now, once again, it's pulling up more and more dirt. Um, like I said, this, this <laughs> problem is, is when you allow material to get this worn, uh, because really I've seen far dirtier. So there's a difference between material, in this case vinyl, that gets scuffed and damaged. And that's different than it just getting dirty. Because you can clean something perfectly clean and it's not going to look perfect because the material underneath has actually been damaged. Okay, so there is a difference there. So my job as a detailer is to make sure it's as clean as possible. I can't fix damages, permanent damages, scuffs, that type of stuff, but I can sure as heck clean it. So sometimes in your world, if you have an excessively dirty seat and you clean it, it can be revealing in a bad way at times because now you're going to reveal what was hiding beneath that dirt and sometimes it's not a good thing. Sometimes it's a, a rude awakening because you're like, wow, I didn't realize my seat had become damaged underneath that dirt. Now that I've cleaned the dirt off, it's just there to be uh, shining in all its glory in the light of day. Uh, may not be a good thing. So you kind of have to make a judgment call. If your car is that old or that dirty, you may want to go lightly. You may want to just spray and wipe and begin to see what's revealed and you may just approach it in stages like baby steps so first you spray then you wipe you check for results and you think okay I want to go a little deeper I want to go a little cleaner so now you spray you get your scrub brush and you do one go around and as a rule if something is Excess, if something is excessively dirty, one of the other rules is it's better to do light applications with repeated steps rather than think unrealistically and naively that you're going to get all the dirt in one go because it's just not realistic, especially with all this little, um, all this texture going on. So if I had to live with a single product, it would be the super degreaser because I can virtually use it on any material, leather, vinyl, cloth, carpeting, you name it, I can use it. I just dilute it down to the appropriate level of strength that I need for the moment. But honestly, as a professional detailer, I keep both products. I, I tend to use the this uh, product on carpeting and cloth. I'll use the super degreaser when it when it uh, the job requires a super level of cleaning power. Okay, so oh, I want to show you what happens to vinyl eventually. If you look right here, this is the driver's seat. You see how it's cracked, um, and this gets into the area of vinyl repair, which is, in my opinion, very temporary and superficial. I don't normally recommend it. Um, anyhow, so this is the trade-off with vinyl is yes, people think, oh vinyl, it's going to last longer. If I get any spills on it, it's easy to wipe up. But the reality is, is that we'll always, always, always eventually crack like this and then there's not a whole lot you can do. So that's, that's my little sidebar as far as vinyl material goes. Okay. Darren here, over and out. We will see you on the other side. Tune in again. Don't forget, people, subscribe to my channel if you like the information you uh, I'm presenting to you. Uh, give it a thumbs up, like it, um, but more importantly, make some comments. Challenge me. Uh, I can only deliver what you tell me you need, what your problem areas are. Because I've been in the business so long, uh, it's hard for me to know at a remember what it was like to be a beginner. Um, so I'm going to think and look at things very differently than a true beginner will. So that's why it's very important for you to throw the questions out there. I'll do my best to answer them. 
and more importantly I will configure videos that will actually demonstrate the solutions to your problems so I believe that's it and as I say we will see you on the other side until next time thanks for tuning in